Well, some are calling for more focus on domestic issues like an aging population and uplifting their disadvantaged. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says Singapore still needs to continue to grow a vibrant and innovative economy. He says this is critical as it provides the means to build a better Singapore and better lives for Singaporeans. Michelle Teo with the report. When shops were shuttered during the circuit breaker period three years ago, support measures from rental relief schemes to wage subsidies helped to keep firms afloat and workers employed. The pandemic was just one of several global crises to hit Singapore. But Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says the country always bounced back quickly. That's because it was able to set aside resources generated by strong economic growth over the years. Growth allows our people to access good jobs, fulfill their aspirations and raise their families. It generates the resources for our nation to fund needs and priorities, such as supporting families, caring for our seniors and uplifting those with disadvantages. Thinking long, longer term, growth coupled with prudence has enabled us to build a buffer to weather many storms. But structural changes are now sweeping across the world. Science and technology are determining the road ahead. So for Singapore to continue to grow, Mr Hing says firms and workers must harness the best of tech and innovation. And he pledges that the government will work closely with them, particularly through the ongoing industry transformation maps. We are now into our second iteration. ITM 2.0 includes two additional pillars resilience and sustainability. Resilience to address shocks in the supply chains and sustainability to address carbon constraints. There is also a sharper focus on the future of jobs and skills to better deploy technology and prepare for an aging workforce. Mr Hing also underlines the urgent need for Singapore to deepen investments in research and development. This, he says, will help drive industry transformation efforts and increase Singapore's competitiveness in the global arena. This way, we can attract, create and capture value in Singapore, which will benefit not just ourselves, but the region and the world. Our efforts have yielded good outcomes. Singapore is ranked among the top 10 most innovative economies in the world. For Singapore to continue to thrive in an increasingly contested world, Mr Hing says it must remain open as an economy, as a society and as a people, building bridges to stay relevant and useful to the world.